More than 70 Americans have died in Iraq so far this month, making October one of the deadliest months, and it is only October 19th, since the war began three and a half years ago. The military is having a tougher time finding recruits, and WSBT's Darla Hernandez joins us now live from South Bend. And Darla, despite everything that's going on, some people did sign up today. That's right, Mike. Many women and men gathered behind me right here at the College Football Hall of Fame where they took an oath to become members of the Air Force Reserve. But with more violence in Iraq continuing, these reserve units are seeing more and more combat. Violence and blood. It's being called the deadliest month in Iraq in two years. With all the publicity, seems to be more on the negative side that is probably scaring a lot of kids. Here at home, recruiters are being put to the test. The Air Force Reserve held a ceremony for those who enlisted. Some parents say they are honored, proud, and fearful. I think you'd be a fool not to be scared for your son doing anything, whether it's going across town or across seas fighting a war. But you have to believe that God will protect them. I'm here today to uh, introduce you a little bit about the Navy. Another kind of recruitment at Penn High School, as Admiral Mark Balmer talks with students about serving in the war on terror and in the Navy. The hope, some will sign up. The people that are serving, that are seeing what's over there and elsewhere, uh, are making the choice to stay in. So therefore, I think they... Are, are, feeling, are feeling a sense of fulfillment in what they're doing. We're completing our mission. Last year, the Marines missed some of their recruiting goals. The Army had the toughest time. It missed its goals by about 3,000. So cash incentives and scholarships were increased to help draw recruits. Yeah, everybody's probably nervous to sign up. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous, but I'm not afraid. I mean, if I have to go, I'll go. I like to serve my country. Now, a local commander with the Air Force Reserve Unit here says in regards to meeting those recruitment goals, he says as of this month and last month that all recruits have met their goals, all armed services have met their goals. All right, Darla Hernandez, thank you in downtown South Bend.